Okay, here we go with second application. Your first application is actually the most difficult application to put on because the canvas is acting like a sponge pulling all the moisture out of the canvas. And in doing that, it tends to dry the coating prematurely or faster than it really should dry. Your second coat, since it's sealed off the, the canvas, your second coat you'll find that you can do a lot thinner with a lot less coating and it spreads way more evenly and it dries more evenly. We did show a little bit of line, so what we're going to do is we're going we're gonna to turn it 90 degrees to apply the second coat. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to saturate our roller, roll off a little of the excess. Notice last time I was only able to get one pass, and this time I'm able to get three passes, even four passes. Look, at it, I even can go one coat, I can get the whole, the whole canvas, whereas on the first coat, the first coat, because of the canvas pulling the moisture out, I was only able to get one pass. So what I'm doing is I'm rolling again second time just to even out my lines, eliminate all the lines. And since this coat went on much thinner, you'll notice that it will also dry substantially quicker. Our third application determines our gloss level. In other words, do you want your final canvas to be glossy, satin, or matte? What I find is high gloss prints are almost always water images, underwater images, images that have water in them like waterfalls, ocean pictures. Satin is what I find is a, what I use 90% of the time because it knocks the high gloss off. So you don't have really highly reflective prints. Highly reflective prints have the most detail, the most sharpness, most depth, but those prints have to have ideally ideal lighting, otherwise you get reflections on the prints. So 90% of most of our images are satin. Matte is also a really good product when you want to diffuse and soften the image. It's really great for skin tones. You just have to experiment on the gloss levels yourself. But my main point I want to stress to you is that your third application determines your gloss level. All three products from Eco Print Shield are the same base product. They all start with the base of gloss. The satin and the matte we add microscopic beads, which are called diffusion agents, to break up the surface quality to give it a satin or a matte look. If you do all three coats using this diffusion agent, you get milky or white looking blacks. You don't get rich, deep looking blacks because you don't really need the diffusion agents on all three coats, only the final coat, which gives you your gloss level. So remember, your third application determines your gloss level. Okay, let's put in our third coat. If I can keep it where I don't see the lines on it, if I can keep it where I can just roll it where I don't see lines, then the final product does not have lines. And if, as you play with it, you'll see that, you'll see, you'll get a feel for it. As you apply this on yourself, you'll get a feel for the product. Well, you never use any, express, any pressure downward, just the weight of the roller. And <clears throat> because I have high humidity here, I can come back and roll over that print again with no problem. And I'm rolling just one direction to make sure that I alleviate all the lines where it's totally smooth. And we see a little bit of, of texture there, but because the humidity is high enough, all that will flow out upon final drying.
So in conclusion, Eco Print Shield is a breakthrough product. With a few simple steps, you can roll this product on and produce a canvas that has a rating of over 100 years. It's really a great product. Give it a shot.